they feel at home. Our final student speaker will capture this. And at this time, I would like to invite Bocello KK Beloy to the stage to share permission to be different. Good evening, staff, faculty, alumni, friends, family, and the esteemed class of 2022. My name is Gudrano Botelo Lati KK Baloy Mudise, and I promise this speech is going to be shorter than my long list of names. <laughs> Before I get started, I wanted to say thank you to the Lakota administration for giving me this honor. While I was trying to figure out the main message of my speech, I tried thinking about the things we share as a class that tie our experiences together as seniors. And the biggest similarity that I found is that we're all different and uniquely made. My whole life has been defined by instances where I had to give myself permission to be different. Moving here from South Africa during freshman year, I was in situations where I would either embrace my uniqueness or most likely conceal it. And as we approach what seems like the beginning of our adult lives, I'm here to ask the class of 2022 to give yourselves permission to be different. And if you can't or don't feel comfortable, create spaces for people like you to share their uniqueness, no permission required. For me, that was creating the Black Student Union and joining her club, JSA, NHS, Student Government, French Club, and Teens for Christ. All these spaces, environments, and environments gave people who are much like me the freedom to be themselves. And that, in my opinion, is exactly what makes Lakota East stand out. After having moved around 21 times throughout my childhood and attending 17 schools, I would be lying if I said that Lakota East wasn't the school I favored the most. Not because it didn't come with its challenges, but because it was filled with environments, situations, friends, and faculty who embraced the parts of themselves that seemed different like Principal Burnside's funky Friday pants during football season, or the teachers who showed off their roasting skills during Mr. Lakota East, hashtag shout out to Mr. Dennis, <laughs> or the seniors who dressed up as the cast of Hamilton for homecoming. So from the classroom to the field, or from the theater to the cafeteria, every part of my East experience has been refreshingly different. So class of 2022, have courage and faith in your true self. The type of faith we all had in 2019 pre-COVID when we thought we were coming back to school after two weeks. <laughs> the type of faith that brings communities together to form one common goal. Like I said, one of my many names is Cutrano, which in my language, in Setswana, means unity. To me, high school has been exactly what my name and purpose in life aspires to be. The ability to come together despite our differences and unite as one. I wouldn't be fulfilled if I didn't take a moment to thank my mom. <laughs> She raised me as a single mom with nothing and brought me to where I am today. Thank you for the sacrifices you made and for providing me with a life I didn't ever dream was possible. I love you, and I will continue to make you proud. <laughs> so, to the Lakota East graduating class of 2022, which honestly feels amazing to say, my message to you is that wherever you go and whoever you choose to become, be yourself, and if it gets hard, make friends, build spaces, and form communities where you can do so. No permission required. Thank you. KK, you are an amazing young lady, and you're truly a force of nature. I'm so thankful that your journey has led you to Lakota East. And we feel honored to hear you say that this is your home. You've left the legacy that will impact our school for the better for years to come. And thank you for sharing your story with us. Let's give her one more round of applause, please. 